What is up ladies and gents? It is a beautiful morning here in Woodenville, Washington. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna get some snow tomorrow. You know, it's nice and frosty. Show you guys uh, my projects and what I've done. So naturally we should probably start with some breakfast. So let's uh, let's get that going. Uh, I like to use this beautiful machine here. I try to make one of these every morning. Uh, it's kind of hard because I usually just got to go to work. I don't really think about breakfast. But when I do make one, I always end up feeling better. Alrighty, now on to the good stuff. Chuck, you want to come with me? Where are we going? Where are we going? God damn, it's cold out here. All right, well, clear skies. Finally not raining here in uh, in Woodville. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to show off my, uh, my projects. So, I guess we'll just start here. Chuck, get out of the shot. Come here. Come on, Chuck. Come on. Good boy. It's a 19... <laughs> oh, what, did I hurt you? What's wrong, buddy? Oh, oh. It's a 1987 325 IS. God damn it, Chuck. He just doesn't get it. The only problem I've really run into here is, uh, unfortunately, there was some rust. So I grinded it all down, put some body filler, and then just painted it so it doesn't look as bad. Whatever. Gets the job done. I'm probably going to go in for paint at some point, so I just didn't want to deal with it. It's got these nice rims. I, uh... What's the name? Style 32. Um, I got them for actually $200, which is a really good deal. Normally these are uh, like $800 rims, but I had to paint them and do all that. But they came out pretty good. Overall, I'm digging the way it looks. All right, let's check out the motor. Oh, door's frozen shut. It's a good sign. We got snow in the mountains, boys. So it's an M20 B25. Um, nothing special, just the stock motor. But unfortunately, the old motor that was in it originally uh, with an automatic uh, blue head gasket on, uh, I guess, probably on the way home. So I found this one on Craigslist for 500 bucks, not a bad deal, and um, proceeded to swap it in. It's uh, It's got a five speed now, G Track 260. And, uh, and I basically did everything that you want to do when you're swapping a motor, the clutch, uh, basically, you know, going through doing all the gaskets, water pump, timing belt, all that good stuff, spark plugs, obviously, and cleaning out injectors. Um, I also had some coolant issues with uh, hoses leaking, so I got the cool silicone hoses. I didn't really want the blue, but it was the only one they had in stock, so whatever, you know, you do what you got to do. It's got a new radiator. Um, I mean, yeah, it's had a lot done to it. So this thing is a reliable daily driver now, which is nice. Uh, recently put this strut tower bar on there, which is uh, pretty baller. I don't know why my damn autofocus ain't working. Let's move on to the beast over here, the black beast. It's a 1989 Toyota pickup. So this one actually had a similar story, unfortunately, um, the day after. Actually, no, this one was on the way home. Head gasket blew, and it, was, it wasn't even the head gasket blowing. It was a crack in the head, and it was squirting coolant down the header um, and blowing fat clouds of white smoke out the back. I had no idea what was going on. I was 16 years old. This was my first 
my first big project and uh, and I got myself into it and luckily I made it this far so that's good um, interior is oh, yeah, we got a frozen door here too ow fuck me where do you want to go Chuck so interior is pretty good um, that seats good this seats got some wear and tear but overall it's been nice um, got some nice fuzzy dice up there Chuck watch out all right everything's fucking frozen closed all right so here's the three four nothing special she's uh, a little dirty right now but you know this one's had it all done too it's had all the gaskets gone through and I had my injectors taking them to the injector doctor and uh, yeah basically everything that you need to do when you do a motor swap clutch and all that good stuff um, this one's got a radiator because that one got a hole in it when I hit my buddy um, when we were out snow wheeling and uh, yeah I mean everything else is you know brake booster obviously stock it's unfortunately it looks all rusty and nasty probably gonna do something about that at some point first gen grill which I dig um, it's not very straight anymore because as you can see we have some damage here I uh, I slid down a little hill into my friend and that kind of fucked up everything which is kind of a bummer all right on to the axles <clears throat> it's got 488 gears front and rear um, and it's got this little truss over here which is nice uh, and then the diff cover high steer it's got uh, I think it's FJ80 disc brakes so that upgrade was nice and then I got the V6 calipers it's got turn and bearing eliminators it's got RCVs uh, RCV front axles um, which basically makes it bulletproof which is nice so this whole axle has been gone through and it's been rebuilt so I, this is I think it's been rebuilt two or three times now so that's good at least I know everything's solid up there it's got these new tires on there I uh, I forget what I paid for them but I got a really good deal so I had to jump on them. they're 35 Toyos uh, generally not the best wheel and tire but they're good on the street and that's the majority of what I've been using this for recently so uh, bobbed bed the bob is a little shady I was uh, <laughs> me and my buddy were pretty drunk when we did that so it didn't really come out the best but you know whatever it's a wheeler it is what it is it's already got dents all over it so what are you gonna do? I don't know what is going on with the autofocus here. I'm just gonna turn it off. It's bullshit. Um, so you guys probably want to hear it, so I will uh, do a little startup for you guys. right now so um, I'm gonna let her warm up a sec before I start revving it it don't even sound that good though because it's just a uh, one muffler and then the sketchy ass exhaust that I made so it really it's nothing special it doesn't even sound that nice but um, yeah god it is fucking cold out here Woo! I'll show you the weather Luckily my autofocus doesn't work, so it makes it way easier on me. But 26 and sunny. So it's sunny for the first time in a long time. That's nice. Luckily we got more rain coming. I don't know what is up with this. And would you look at that? Oh my. So not for a couple days. It was saying Thursday, saying we were supposed to get snow, but now it's saying one to three inches. So I guess we'll see good sign look at that beast look at that thing got that light bar up hey guys if you ever need a light bar don't go buy the stupid fucking $700 light bar I spent I think I spent hundred and thirty dollars on that light bar and it has done me fantastic it's been perfect for the last three years it's been fine so anybody that tells you, oh, you need to go get the super ridiculous expensive one, don't listen to them. Just get the eBay one. I'll probably try to put a link in there for you guys or something.
as you can hear, she is uh, pretty raspy. She's about as raspy as it gets, but whatever. It's a wheeler, come on. It's good to have her down parked at the bottom of the property. I got an Optima battery, so I can just leave her around, and then I know that I can turn key, and she'll start for me. So that's nice to, uh, nice to have, especially when we got snow coming in a couple days. Uh, all right. God, this video probably won't last much longer. Um, so this one's turned key too. And it's got the white gauges. I don't know if that's like a rare thing or whatever. I, I think I've seen it online once or twice, but the majority of people seem to have the black gauges. So I don't know what's up with that, but whatever. I think it looks cool. It looks cool with the red at night, so I'm not opposed to it. like I fucking blew the head gasket. It's not though. God, that totally does. But no, that's just uh, condensation or whatever the fuck. Water. It goes away completely after uh, after I start driving. So just on real cold mornings like this, it'll just fucking dump this shit out. I don't know. It's definitely not white smoke. It's definitely see-through. Trust me, this motor is healthy. He's already ready to go. Chuck, what are you doing? His favorite thing in the world is to uh, is to go around driving around with me. So that's nice. Unfortunately, I'm going to be moving, and I'm not going to even see my dog anymore. I'm kind of bummed. I'm moving up to Bellingham to start a new life, and uh, I won't be able to take this guy along with me. I'm pretty sad about that. What's up, Chuck? All right, so I'm, uh, I've am i been contemplating doing a little vlog action. Um, I just want to get more comfortable in front of the camera. Uh, I feel like this will be good for me. But uh, who knows, I guess. God, it's fucking cold. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to talk about. I was thinking about just doing daily life, um, especially if I'm moving up to Bellingham. That would be a good opportunity for me to share my daily experiences with you guys. I'm gonna be moving to a t-shirt company. They are hiring me on up there. That will be interesting. I'm curious about um, what direction and how that can help my company. Um, so that'll be good. There's gonna be a lot of good stuff in the near future. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to start recording and, uh, and so I can look back at this stuff too. Look back at this point in time in my life. God, this lighting, man. See, I found the nuances about doing this is really the killer, is finding lighting, getting your sound to work properly. That's really the key. And it's such a pain in the ass to do all this. That's a little better. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, uh, I don't really want to do... See, the big thing is I see a lot of guys doing stuff like this and they just they do immediate copies of uh, Casey Neistat and other vloggers that are really popular. And that's cool. I mean, whatever. It, it, obviously, they did something right, so you're kind of trying to follow their path. But um, I don't know. It's kind of lame when you do that. It's, it's not... Casey Neistat is cool because he was the first one to do it that way. So I'm going to kind of work with my style and see if I can see if I can kind of make my own, kind of develop my own style and uh, and see how it comes out. Anyway guys, these were my cars and uh, yeah, that is uh, that